and we're back all right today's video we're going to try to do a little adjustment on this shifter um a lot of times people put these on uh forward controls and they adjust this if you're wearing a regular work boot you can't get your boot under this it hangs up so technically this thing needs to come up a little bit so i'm hoping i have enough adjustment on this rod in order to be able to spin it and then push this up further it's what i'm hoping for otherwise i got to remove it from the shifter spline and then rearrange that but right now it's in the position that it's supposed to be in straight up and down here so what we're going to do today we're going to try to see if we can get enough adjustment out of this for the boot to be able to fit nice and it didn't matter whether like i you, you know you guys know i put on these mini floorboards the other pegs that were on it it's still the boot hung up because the the mini boards are from here down they're not from here up so the width of this from here to here was the same as the pegs that were on it so this is just a little too narrow no matter how i adjust the shifter peg itself it doesn't make a difference so we're going to see if we can crack this i'm going to crack these half inches free first and then this is an allen head let's see it's a three sixteenths um and hopefully we can take that and then i can turn this rod so we're going to see what happens here let's see what we got back that off and then back this one off try to lose some nail so come on there we go that way when it's off i'm going to unbolt it from the shifter itself and we'll see what we got let's see yeah okay i don't think that's gonna work nope that's the right size and it's just gonna strip right out on me how about the back one we may be stuck before we even get started here ah okay all right it loosened from the back so see what we can get out of it if anything because these are going to be bound in place too so i have to see if i can break that free let's see is it flat on the edges to grab a can we get a yes okay is that the half inch also where are we at no okay seven sixteenths i imagine on the high joint and let's see what we got here Let's see. Let's see if this will turn. Come on. Wow. Well, tell me it's metric. Wow. Well, holy cow. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we've got. see where we're at here yep, I'll be damned definitely not a 10 so we're like stuck between a rock and a hard place with it Let's see if we can get it with this hopefully all right is that backing off yeah that's better now she's turning I would like to get some from the other end though so let's see where we're at and I put it up a little higher I sure would like to get it if I could get it from this end I know between the two I could get enough to to bring it up but this is just not yeah that's just gonna strip which I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna I don't want to strip that out that's not going to happen because I don't have time to to drill it out and unscrew it and get a replacement so I'm going to try to let me get a pair of vice grips on that rod 
and we'll see if we can crank it a little bit. Hopefully, because like I said, I would like to get some on the front too. Let's see what we got. Hopefully get enough of a bite. Yeah, not a course. Try again. There we go. All right, that freed it up. Now, let's see where we're at here. Can we turn this? If we can get this to turn, well, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll bolt it back up <clears throat> here. Let's put this back. Make sure it's loose and free, which is what we want. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of Loctite on that, but let me get it adjusted first. Okay, now we can bring this back. That'll raise it up some more. Do one more. Come on. Yeah. yeah. How's that look? All right. I think that got enough. That gave me about five threads. Maybe one more. Come on. And we'll give it one more. There we go. So I'm going to lock it down there and see if that didn't give me what I needed. I'm going to say that it did, looking at it. It didn't need much. I just needed enough to, to be able to get my boot underneath it. So let's snug this back down. Come on. Go the right way. You can actually tighten it. That's that. And then we'll tighten this side. Okay. Now, stop you for a minute. I got to go get boots. All right. Now we got a pair of riding boots on. Let's see where we're at here. Okay. That's good there. Yeah, see, now I can get underneath it. Before, my boot couldn't get underneath it. I couldn't get the toe under there. Probably could come up a little more, but I think I'm going to have to do that with the spline itself. Maybe I can get a little more out of the rear hind joint. That's a possibility. So let's see before we pack stuff up. Let me get off of it and we'll see where we're at. Maybe a little more off the rear hind. Let's see. All right. First things first. Let's loosen this back up. And then, let's loosen this, because I had to put, um, very good. Got to put Loctite on this anyway when it goes back in. Technically should have a little bit on it. But let's see. If we come out a little more here. Let's see. That's two full turns. Yeah, I think that's much better now. Let's see where we're at. Actually, I think I can go one more. So I'm going to go one more turn on it, and I'm going to leave it at that. If it needs any more, I'm going to end up having to take the, the shift lever itself off and then um, rotate it. How many threads have we got there? Yeah, that's even like the front. Let's see where we're at here. That hind joint straight. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's still working good. So everything's good. So that's where I'm going to leave it. So that adjusted this rod up. It lifted the shift lever up a little bit more. So that way everything is, is where it needs to be. Let's see. Let's make sure this isn't binding. Come on. 
And here, okay, yeah, yeah, that's not binding. We're good. Just wanted to make sure the hind joint wasn't binding. Back one's not binding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some blue Loctite to this. And we'll snug this back down. And that'll be good. That should do the trick. As a matter of fact, I'll snug it right now so it doesn't move. That's that. So I'm going to back this off real quick. We snug it down. I'm just going to back it to there. I'll sneak a little Loctite in behind it. And that'll be good to go. Up to get some airflow here because it's a beautiful day here today. Really pretty. So, take it out for a ride today, too. I think. Got somebody possibly interested in buying it here. Really? Why is that? Oh, okay. Well, it's like we dried up a little bit in the end here. And of course I can't find my wire that I used to run through it. Alright, let's see, did that get it? Yeah, that got it. Just a smidge. Very good. That's good. Wipe this off. That's just enough. Like I said, a lot of times they, you know, they put it on, I guess they have a standard area that they go to with it. But the problem is, very good. Issue is, you know, if people wear boots. If you're wearing sneakers, it was perfect. But if you're wearing riding boots, that's just not enough room. It just was not enough to, to get your feet in between the peg and the shifter. And I, you know, talking to some other people I know, they had the same issue uh, with the way it's laid out. And like I said, it just wasn't enough to get the job done. Now, that should be just about perfect. Let me hop on here and we'll check it, see how much room we have now. Oh yeah, see? I can get my foot all the way underneath there now. So that's perfect. And that's just adjustment of the rod itself. The only issue you're going to have if you have to do this yourself is, you know, if the bolts, the heim joints are stuck in. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.